we got Grant Cardone, author of four bestsellers and one of the top gurus in the world. And I'm convinced. Now, I've studied a lot of people. I actually did a testimonial for Grant. I've not done that for one other person in the world. I did a testimonial for Grant. Uh, with my film crew, because I said for many years I was a disciple of Covey. I was a disciple of these people. I said, but one guy walked into my life when I was 36 years old and helped me get real serious about building my, my personal brand, and I think he's the best guy in the world. And I say that not only because you're on the show, because I believe it. I mean, I think you are a true inspiration to millions of people out there, and when we're down on swag, we come get some from you. Fair enough? Fair with me, man. And, uh, so here's my question. When you get down on swag, if you do, who do you go? Because I noticed the other day you were at an NSA conference. I couldn't attend because I was speaking, but but I know you're sitting across from Brian Tracy, some big time people. Who who are the people you're studying right now that keeps your fire burning? Well, I tell you, I tell you, this is a very controversial answer I'm about to give you. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, one one look, I, I just refuse. I refuse to 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 fail in this lifetime. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I will seek out any advice and any information that will get me better. Clearly, clearly me, the educational system in this country and most of the advice we get from TV and radio is not good. I have read, oh, I don't even know how many L. Ron Hubbard books. Mm -hmm. L. Ron Hubbard, the founder of the Church of Scientology, mm -hmm. I've done books, courses, the amount of powerful quality content that's rational and analytical that is available there for a person to improve their business, their finances, their personal life, their marital life, their kids is unbelievable. So anybody that says something negative about Scientology or L. Ron Hubbard, they have only not read a book because the information, when a, when a rational person reads the information in those books, dude, there's nothing weird about it. Okay. I, some of the most successful businessmen in the world, okay, I'm talking about Billy Killers. You know what a Billy Killer oh, is, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, Martha Stewart, Billy Killer. Yeah, I'm talking about some power <laughs> players. Some of the most successful businessmen on this planet have been using Scientology for years to bring balance, organization, and expansion into their lives. And this has got a lot of bad press, obviously, around the country. I mean, you know, because... Wait, because what new thing doesn't get bad press? That's right. Because first, if, hey, let's go through the four steps, right? First, got to get attention. Yeah. Then you get criticism. Yeah. Then you drive haters. And then, then they love you. Then you get admiration. Look four what they steps. did to Jesus, man. Well, you know, I was just going back and, and rereading some of 10X in preparation for today, and, and I caught a line that I didn't catch the first time, first couple of times through, is that... When an obsessive person becomes successful, they're no longer labeled obsessive. They're labeled geniuses, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. See, look at, look at a guy like Jesus, okay? Whether you believe in Jesus or don't or support that or don't. Look, man, Jesus was a player, man. Jesus was, I'm getting out of obscurity. You're going to know me. I'm going to tell you what I believe in. I don't care if you like it or not. In fact, you know what? I'm willing to stand up for what I believe in. If you need to put a freaking crucifix on my head, you need to put a freaking knife in my chest. If you need to nail me to a cross, let's roll. Let's roll, brothers. Mm -hmm.